guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Njeri Nyawera and today we are getting into a very different um, line of uh, content something that I've not done before but I'm hoping to help someone out there as you know I'm a HR by profession and so I will I was, I've actually but just been thinking why don't I give you some of my um, HR perspective now especially the fact that it's during these tough times uh, COVID is happening uh, so many companies are closing down others are going out of business I decided to do something very interesting something that might have impacted some of you or some of your family members or some of the people you love and from this blog you might be able to help someone uh, you might be able to get someone uh, to relax and do um, deal with the situation so today I decided to talk about redundancies yes so I don't know if all of you know what redundancies are to be specific uh, redundancies is that it's like a state where you lose your job uh, because there's no more work for you in the company mostly because maybe the company has gone out of business they are changed the product maybe that's not your line of specialization or they are cutting down costs and you might be among the people who will lose their jobs or there's a change in technology and so your skills might not be needed anymore among many other things there are many different reasons where why companies lay off their employees and more specifically uh, during the pan pandemic uh, the current situation uh, there are many companies that do not have clients anymore and so they cannot sustain their employees in terms of payments and all those things and they have to cut down costs and the major one that I think most companies have to start with is the cost of resources which affects now the employees so that is uh, in a layman's language that's what redundancies are or layoffs yes so today's video is about how to handle redundancies it's the most stressful thing to go through in your career path like how having to be laid off you know you wake up today knowing you have a job then tomorrow you wake up and that job is normal more specifically when it was your major source of finances and maybe you're the uh, family breadwinner your yeah so it is the most most um stressful thing that someone can go through uh especially now during a pandemic where most people do not even know who is hiring how do i get hired and most of the companies maybe you'll be eyeing are also laying off their employees so there are no few, there are very few chances today we are going to talk about uh how do i deal with redundancy in case i am impacted or in case i know someone in my family who is how do i help them to go through this process and they like how the energy to bounce back so i have a few tips and i'll go right to it so yeah point number one um it's something that people actually do not know and they need to know uh because going through redundancy is very stressful so the first one is know your legal rights actually knowing what you expect in terms of final dues in terms of uh the process that is being taken or such things will actually calm you down and you actually start knowing how do i bounce back how do i manage my finances or how do i well how do i move from here and the very first thing is to actually know the minimum package that you should have for example in kenya you should be paid for imp four important things the first one is the payment for all the days until exit date for example uh you exited in the month of june so you should be paid until your exit date then the second thing is your leave days if you have any leave days that you have not used then you should be paid for all those leave days um, to the point of exit then the next one is actually your notice pay you should be given a 30 days notice pay and unless you're on a daily basis uh, basis employment that is casual employment some of these do not warrant a notice 
some have seven day notice and that is what will be paid to you so you should know what is your type of employment and what is my uh, leave pay yeah and the last one is the severance package so severance package is paid in terms of 15 days of every year worked anyway there's a lot of calculators online and if you'd want me to help you uh, try and calculate your approximate let me know comment down below and i'll be able to do that um help you out yes so that is majorly about knowing your legal rights so if you're not kenyan please look out for what are the legal uh rights in terms of the final redundancy pay then point number two is actually manage your finances once you know that you're being uh, affected by redundancy the first thing that should come out in your mind is how do you survive and how to survive is actually managing your finances yeah the very first thing is have a budget start budgeting and budget for like uh the next three four months how do I get to survive with what I have, with the finances I have? The second thing is actually cutting down those costs. Cut unnecessary costs. There are some things maybe you do every month that literally you can do without now that you're trying to survive um, the layoff. And if possible, try and manage your finances without going to the savings. I know some of the savings are like meant for such cases but if you can try and survive as long as you can before you get to have, um, savings the better so that's why the very first thing was to actually know what your fi uh, package should look like and then manage to survive without package for as long as possible then point number three is actually don't take it personally uh try first and understand why is the company doing this yeah because some most of the time it feels personal it feels like oh they didn't like me anyway or uh didn't i perform well anyway but some of these decisions have to be made yeah so try and understand the why behind the whole redundancy and don't take it personally because if it was about performance or if it was because there are so many other ways that uh employers can exit you but if they decided to do a redundancy then don't take it personally it might not be even about your skill set or anything so try to understand there are very many people laid off every other day for example right now there are so many people who've lost their job so if you lost a job today just make sure you understand the why behind that redundancy because that's how you start healing when you know it's not about your skills when you doubt yourself, when you doubt your skills, when you think it's about you personally, it will retard you from moving forward. Yeah. So when you understand that you're, you're good at what you do, you're able to get back up in speed. And you know what? You get a job the next day. Then uh, the next point is be honest and open about it. Talk to your family talk to your uh, loved ones friends maybe for example if uh, let's say you're a married couple you will get laid off but your partner is still working you need to talk when you are not honest and open about it your partner might think um my husband is still uh paying the bills or still has a job so i don't know we are fine but when you talk about it and you open about it then you test you try to be strategic about your spending about the next steps and all those things and for example if you're living alone maybe you're single you live alone and you have a family talk to your parents talk to your siblings talk to your friends because those are the people will even if it's not supporting you financially you need the emotional and mental support honestly it's tough and when you have people around you who love you and understand your situation and talk to you and you know pray through uh, the process or try to look for other alternative it's better than when you're doing it all alone so be honest about it talk about it with your loved ones and reflect on what are the next steps yeah uh, my next point is protect your energy yeah 
once you've already sorted your finances you've budgeted you've cut it costs you have done all those things in terms of your finances now you need to take care of your energy because that's how you'll be productive if you live and have better solutions for things you'll be able to start your next journey uh, you might you'll start looking for the next job or the next hustle that will be able to support you but if you're not protecting your energy and positivity you'll whine for so long and you'll take too much time that wasn't necessary so yeah protect your energy do those things that make you feel good for example wake up no Look for positive things like listen to TED Talk, listen to uh, that music that you love. Build your energy, your inner strength. Because that is what will give you the confidence to go to the next uh, interview and, you know, crush it. That is what will help you wake up the next morning and know what? That job is done and I need to get a new one. And I need to sort these things. And I need to do it one, two, three. So when you have the energy, you are able to focus and recenter uh, your energy to something else, to another way uh, of providing for yourself and for your family. Yeah, it's something that uh, someone told me one day that redundancy can be a good thing. I know it's not what we all want to hear, especially if you've lost your job sometimes it can be a good thing in fact most times because this is a chance for you to refocus in terms of what is your major career goal yeah what is it that you wanted to do with your life why you just caught up in life and you started doing this job throughout and you don't even like you're just caught up in that ocean of uh that paycheck that monthly uh salary that you forgot what it is what your career goals are and what it is to be happy at your job you need to recenter and remember to focus on your career goals you know address things like uh work-life balance or uh the job you wanted or uh you know feeling stressed and exhausted you might have a time to even rest take a break you know and think about what your priorities were before you started that job maybe you got lost at some point because you know what i'm paying my bills that's all i need but you're not happy at that job you're not happy with where you are at in terms of your career so it is a, a good time to for you to um reassess your career and life goals yeah so take that time uh, refocus, rethink. Maybe you used to do a job that maybe in the next five years it won't be a valuable job. It's time for you to reassess and know how do I align with myself with the changes in the world and do what I love while being uh, relevant in the market. Yeah, so they take that time, reassess all those things, and yeah, by the time you start your next job. You feel like, you know, it's like you took a vacation and you rested and you'll be able to pro to be more productive than uh, when you hop from one job to the other. one. So, yeah, take time, some time off, reassess and know your priorities. Look for that in your next job. Yeah. And the next one is start networking. Yeah. There are people you've worked with before. There are people you've met before. Those are the people you should start talking to. Start talking to people who are in the jobs that you want. Start talking to people who are in the industries that you want. If, for example, you want to join the um, tech industry, talk to the people that you know who are in that industry. They might know roles or they might have ideas of how to get a job that you want in the industry. Or talk to other employers, talk to network. When you start building your network, your circle, you'll be able to actually uh, get a job or something a bit faster and you will get the right uh, role for you. Like at this age and time, social media comes a long way. So go to that LinkedIn, look to that, uh, talk to that recruiter of the role you want. Yeah, look at, for example, um, in Kenya, uh, let's say you want to, to work for a company like Microsoft yeah 
go to LinkedIn, look for the recruiter in Microsoft, start talking to them, yeah? Or maybe you want to work for Cisco, look for their recruiter, their recruiters in these um, companies. It actually works, yeah? You might talk to a recruiter who is looking for, the, for your role, maybe for the last three, four months, and you never know. So start going online, chat people, talk to people, and find your next role. Then I think my last point is let the search begin. Don't just settle. I know uh, sometimes you might just do, you know, the first job you do to keep, uh, to you get is what you do to keep you afloat, but don't settle. You might take a job to pay your bills, but let that not be your, uh, your career move. Get that job, settle, pay your bills, but search like Noah's business. Search until you get what you want, yeah? Even if you get to a company uh, that is paying you well, but it's not what you wanted. It, it doesn't have all the packages. It doesn't have maybe a proper flexibility, uh, you know, uh, things that you care about. It's not in the industry you want. My friends, keep looking until you get the right fit for you. And the last thing is stay positive. I might have said that in that, but I have to reiterate that you have to take care of yourself mentally. Your mental wellness comes first. That happiness that comes from within will help you and will drive you to success. So you have to take care of yourself. You know, meditate every morning. Uh, if meditation doesn't work, listen to gospel. If that doesn't work, cry it out. Yeah? If that doesn't work and for you, what works is ranting and talking and calling and telling everyone and, you know, being frustrated, do that. But once you're done, start working on your positiveness. You don't cry forever. Cry the first three days. Cry the first week. But after that, you start knowing, you know what, it was a good thing and I'm going to come out from the other side stronger and better. So yeah, I hope this is helpful. If I've left anything, please comment down below. Let me know what you want uh, to know. If you don't want me to help you calculate your minimum redundancy as per your country, I can also do that and help you to know what is your minimum package and what you should expect as an employee uh, in a certain country uh, following the country regulations and yeah and if you have more tips uh for example if you've been uh, you've have to deal with a layoff before and there's something that really helped you and i've not mentioned it please comment comment let's help each other uh, because these few steps have helped me and let's see if this helps someone else so thank you very much guys and do have a lovely time uh, i'll be back with more content if you'd like more of this hr content let me know comment and let's do this so thank you guys and have a lovely time bye